Hi everyone, my name is Evil and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about T900 build and to be more precise about how these 400mm reservoirs were fitted inside the T900 case. Let me give you a quick recap of the build itself. The main feature of the build was 400mm reservoirs that were fitted inside the case upside down. It was achieved by attaching 3D printed brackets to the top of the case and fitting the actual reservoirs inside them. It was a very simple idea, but it took me some time and some tinkering to get it done. Let's get into nitty gritty stuff. This is the design of the first bracket. Very simple base plate and the tube element to hold the reservoir in place. As you can see in the assembly animation, Reservoir should just slide into the bracket and keep itself in place. 3D printed bracket had some issues though. I had to cut out this, cut off this, file off that, cut out this, and it still was not aligned correctly. And yeah, I know, I had to do some serious adjustments to it and it looks pretty ugly, but it was doing the job, so I just left it like that. As you can see, the bracket was holding the reservoir only with one zip tie. But then I noticed that the reservoir top is slightly larger than the actual reservoir body, so I decided to utilize this element in the next version of the bracket second version had a similar principle, base plate and the tube element, but this time the tube element had a thread. Separately printed ring would be holding the reservoir top inside the bracket using this lip on the bottom of the ring. During the assembly I would have to remove the reservoir top, slide the ring on top of the reservoir body, then put the reservoir top back and then slide the reservoir into the bracket. Ring would then be screwed onto the bracket and it would hold the reservoir in place. But there still was one big problem, base plate alignment. So I came up with this ingenious idea. Base plate that would sit on top of the case, bracket that would be attached to it using 3D printed screws and the ring that would hold the reservoir in place. Assembly for this version would be pretty much identical as previous one. The only difference would be that I would need bigger holes for the screws. So I printed everything. The base, the bracket with correct threads, and the screws. And the reason I designed the base plate so big is because the case top lid holders were sticking out here, here, and here. But I needed the bracket to be flat. So I scrapped the idea of three printed screws, threads in the bracket, and massive plate that takes 20 hours to print. This is what I made. 2mm thick base plate because I only needed to raise the bracket above these case elements. I made the bracket smaller and designed round elements inside the bracket to keep reservoir on top of the case lid stands. The printed part came out pretty nice. I was happy with the print quality and the printing time. The ring for the bracket fitted nicely, only with 0.1mm offset. Assembly was the same as before. Remove the reservoir top. Slide the ring over the reservoir body. Put the reservoir top back. And then slide the reservoir into the bracket. Then tighten up the ring. And there we go. The final and current version of the bracket. The base plate would go into the case, then the bracket with the reservoir would go on top of the base plate 
and then using M6 screws we would attach it to the case. I use the base plate as a reference for the screw holes, then drill the holes and here's the result. Overall, I am very happy with the result. The new brackets allowed me to align the reservoirs with the pumps so I could remove the previous tubing that I had and replace it with a new one. That's it for this video. If you like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any new content, make sure you hit the notification button as well. Also, you can support me on Patreon to keep this channel going. I'll see you in the next one.